Organizing tasks by context is one of the main ideas in getting things done, the classic productivity system. By assigning a context, you indicate where and when it can be done or what tool you need to perform it. It can be anything that helps you quickly pick out tasks depending on the context you're in now. MLO has a special view which displays active tasks grouped by context. You can see what needs to be done while you're in the office, what tasks await you at home, and what you're waiting for from others. So, how to assign a context to a task? To create a new context, select a task, open Properties in Edit Mode, and enter a new context name. Contexts often begin with a symbol such as the at sign to help them stand out. An already existing context can be set right in the task list area. Just enable the context column and select the context from the drop-down list of contexts. If you want to assign multiple contexts, click this box or use a shortcut and check the contexts there. Another tip to mention is that when you are using a view which groups by context, you can simply drag and drop the task into the group name to have a context assigned to it. Similarly, if in an outline you move a task to a different branch, by default, it inherits the parent's context, which is quite convenient. Now let's look at the specific features of context which you may find helpful for your task management style. You can create a context which is only available on certain days or at certain times of day. For the context office, we already set open hours from 10 a.m. Monday till 6 p.m. Friday. This means tasks with this context won't be displayed in to-do at evenings and weekends. Let's do the opposite for the context home. Drag the cursor across the time grid to capture the required area. These settings allow you to focus on relevant actions only. So, now it's Tuesday morning and the office tasks are on the top of my to-do list. However, if you need to look through all your available tasks, check Include Closed to display the currently inactive tasks as well. Besides, a context may include other contexts. Our Context Online includes these three contexts, which means we can get a list of tasks we can do online, filtering by just one context. It also takes into account whether the context is currently open or closed. This can also be useful if you want to filter all your shopping-related tasks or all home tasks. In the mobile version, you can set a location-based context and get a reminder when you are inside a particular area. Go to Context and Locations, select the context, and tap in the Location field to bring up the map. Find the location you want and zoom in. Drop a pin in the actual center of the location. Then drag the slider on the right up or down until the green circle matches the boundaries of your desired location as closely as possible. Tap Save and enable Notify when I arrive or leave, or both, of course. I'm reaching the area, and here is the notification. There are no exact rules on how to use contexts, so you are free to experiment and find the best way to use them.